Hi, welcome to Nigel Dad. I'm Mark. Hi to all my new subscribers, and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Today we're going to have a look at making the garden scenes at the rear of the houses. I'll show you how I make these fence panels and also how I do my hedges. This week's shout out goes to John from Piccadilly Sidings Double O Gauge Model Railway. He also has an N-Gauge channel. He's a wizard with a brush and he does some great uh, weathering and painting techniques as well as lots of other things on his, both his layouts. This is how I make my panel fences. I've got some card, I've got my scale ruler, I'm going to cut the card into six foot strips. So remembering that six foot in double O scale is the same as 24 millimeters. The card I'm using is the same sort of card you get for backing uh, pictures, paintings, that sort of thing in frames. Just line that up. It's just a matter of cutting that out now. There's the strip of card cut out. So this represents a six foot high fence. So now what I'm going to do is mark down lines along. I'm going to put them about a foot apart, so that's four mils apart. And I'll do that on both sides. There I've drawn lines on both sides now to represent the wood going across the fence. So to pick them out now, I use this little engraving tool. You could use just a sharp knife just to make marks in it. Now if you want straight rails then use a straight edge to use this but to replicate the sort of panels I'm going for which have rough edges I'm just going to freehand it along the lines so the lines are just there as a guide. You can see there how that's just highlighting some detail there. So I'll carry on doing that on both sides and then we'll have a look at it. That's all the lines etched out just to give an indication of rails of wood making up the fence. The thing to do now is just give it a very light sand just to remove any loose bits of card. Just do the edges. I've already marked it up at six foot intervals. So now we can just go along sticking matchsticks along just to make up the posts. So let's do that. There's all the posts stuck on. So you've left a little bit sticking out the top and then the excess out the bottom to stick it into the baseboard. So I'll just leave that to dry. So there's posts now stuck to both sides of the fence. Longer posts on that side for fixing to the baseboard and then just a mock post on that side. So what we'll do now is we will paint it with some raw sienna. So I have some raw sienna here mixed a little bit thinner and we'll just paint that on. And there's the fence all painted up the first coat. So we'll leave that to dry and see how it looks. You don't want to put the paint on too thick because you don't want to obscure the detail that you've put in with the engraver. So we'll leave that to dry and we'll come back to it later. There's the fence all painted up. If you want to leave it looking like new, a new fence has just been put in, uh, just leave it like that. If you want to add a bit of age to it, just go over it with a bit of black wash. Uh, just ages the wood slightly. So now you can just cut it into the sections you need and then just drill some holes and pop it into your baseboard and secure it with a couple of blobs of glue. Let's have a look how I make hedges. This is just a normal green scouring pad. So I cut strips like this. Let's make up the hedge. 
So I get the strip, need to rough up the sides of it. For quickness, I use a wire brush attachment on my Dremel type tool. But a generous coating of PVA. So I do one side at a time. Brush that to the surface. And I use some light green coarse turf and burnt grass coarse turf. And just take it and sprinkle it on, mixing in the two different colors. Just press it gently down into the glue. And leave it to dry. And you repeat the same process along the top and on the other side. There's the hedge. There's two different tones of coarse turf on it, burnt grass and light green. So now to add a bit more colour to it. I have some of this Red powder, again from Woodland Scenics, comes in different colours and we'll sprinkle this on to give the appearance of berries and flowers on it. So you sprinkle a bit on. The little tap just settles in. And then to fix that in place, just use some hairspray and just gentle squirts. You don't want to blow it all away. Leave that to dry and that'll fix it into place. And there's your hedge. And you can repeat this as many times as you need to. There you can see the fence has been cut and placed in. It's just had some holes drilled, pushed into the holes, a little bit of glue just secures it in place. And the hedge is just secured again in place with a little bit of glue. So I think we'll leave that here for this week. Next week we'll carry on with the gardens and we'll put some further detailing into the gardens. Well, I hope you find that useful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.